This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. The International Energy Agency, IEA, has again raised its 2024 global oil demand growth forecast, though its projection remains lower than OPEC's expectations, and said the market looked well supplied because of strong growth outside the producer group. The IEA and the OPEC have clashed in recent years over issues such as future oil demand. The IEA expects oil demand to peak by 2030 as the world shifts to cleaner fuels, a view OPEC dismissed in an article on Wednesday. The IEA, which advises industrialized countries, on Thursday predicted global consumption will rise by 1.24 million barrels per day, BPD, in 2024. This was its third consecutive upward revision in as many months but was below OPEC's 2.25 million barrels of oil per day projection. The rerouting of a growing number of ships around Africa to avoid potential attacks in the Red Sea is altering refueling patterns and boosting demand for bunker fuel at far-flung ports, from the Mauritius to South Africa to the Canary Islands. Ships are also expected to top up more at Singapore and Rotterdam, the two busiest bunkering ports and where fuel is competitively priced, as they try to hedge against uncertainty over route changes, traders and analysts said. Attacks by Yemen's Houthi militia on merchant ships in the Red Sea and retaliatory U.S. strikes have ratcheted up tensions in the Middle East as the Gaza war rages on. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Freezing temperatures in several U.S. regions triggered peak power demand in parts of the country on Wednesday, after homes and businesses consumed a record amount of natural gas for heating and power generation. The severe winter storm dumped snow across a broad part of the country this week, shutting a Gulf Coast refinery in Texas triggering malfunctions at others, and halving North Dakota's oil production. U.S. government-owned power utility Tennessee Valley Authority saw a peak demand record on Wednesday morning, when demand hit 34,526 megawatts, beating out the previous all-time high set in August 2007, the agency said. China's exports of three major fuel products fell across the board in December from the previous year. Customs data showed on Thursday as export quotas ran low toward the end of the year and domestic fuel demand picked up from a COVID-era slump. Diesel exports, which account for the biggest share of refinery output, slid 76.0% in December to 670,000 metric tons, General Administration of Customs data showed. Volumes also fell significantly month-on-month from November's 1.16 million tons. Total diesel exports for 2023, however, remained 26% above 2022 levels, when diesel shipments fell to 10.94 million tons for the year amid declining refinery throughput and limited export quotas for much of the year. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. China's imports of aluminium jumped 28% in 2023, customs data showed on Thursday, as robust demand and higher prices drew more shipments into the world's biggest consumer market for the metal. The country imported 3.06 million metric tons of unwrought aluminium and products, including primary metal and unwrought, alloyed aluminium, last year, data from the General Administration of Customs showed. The light metal is traditionally used in the construction, transportation and packaging sectors. Gold prices rose on Thursday, helped by a softer US dollar and the Middle East conflict lifting safe haven appeal while investors await further comments from a Federal Reserve official to gauge the central bank's interest rate trajectory. Spot gold rose 0.5% to $2,015.79 per ounce by 12.55 GMT, but was lingering near its five-week low hit in the previous session. U.S. gold futures gained 0.6% to $2,017.90. The dollar withdrew after hitting a five-week peak in the previous session as U.S. retail sales increased more than expected in December. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Consultancy strategy Grains lowered its estimate for soft wheat production in the European Union this year by more than 2 million metric tons, mainly due to a cut in Germany where the area's sown is now expected to fall to its lowest level since 1999. 
In a monthly cereal report, Strategy Grains forecast EU soft wheat production at 122.7 million tonnes in the 2024-25 season, down from 124.8 million forecast in December and 2.6% below last year's harvest. It projected the total EU soft wheat area would fall by 3.2% year-on-year, mainly because of excessively wet conditions at planting time in the west and north of the EU. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.